Nowadays, people are always griping about their jobs. They feel unappreciated, unsure about their job security, and obsolete. They never know when they might be laid off and or replaced. There are oodles of workers who live in fear of getting booted out for simple reasons like coming back from lunch late or having to stay home with a sick child. This has led to more and more people looking to shore up their incomes in less conventional fashions. It's led many to start their own home businesses and the internet is their platform of choice. In a world where corporate downsizing is now common, many feel that salvation lies in starting an internet business. Some say, just in case, and others feel that they've had enough of living on the whims of others, including bosses, managers and supervisors, who can tell them when to go to lunch and when they can go home. Surf the web sometime and you'll see just how many individuals have started their own internet business. Seriously, cyberspace is loaded with them. All it takes is an idea and human beings are chock full of really good ideas, solutions to common problems. Let me give you an example. There's a website where a housewife is making a great living selling custom knife sets. She was basically a working mum who'd come home to care for her sick child. With no college degree, she decided to start her own at-home internet business selling something she just happened to know a lot about. Custom cutlery. She started this business with less than $100 and looked at it as just a way to bring in some extra money. After a year it turned into something huge and now her husband works with her and it's their only source of income. You have to admit, that's pretty darn sweet. And it all started with her passion for kitchen cutlery and the knowledge that she'd picked up over time. Many times people think internet businesses are all big conglomerates, but actually the internet is a great leveller. It allows stay-at-home mums and average people to be able to start with little or no money and work their way up to compete with the mega corporations. When you think about it, on the net no one knows whether you're a large company or just some guy in his basement with an internet connection. In fact it doesn't matter, what does count is whether you can answer a person's need and answer a question with a product that solves a problem. That's it. And with that, the internet has become a boon in time of strife for all those who are willing to learn and grow. You too can begin an internet business if you really want it. A close friend of mine started her business by making custom children's clothing. She uses her sewing talents and creativity to make an honest living. Now she just has to keep up with the various orders. The bottom line in all of this is that you can never get canned from your own business and your success is completely dependent upon your ingenuity and your ability to create and market a product that people want. And here's a case in point. Now. Um, Viewers of a certain age will remember the Pet Rock fad, which was in the 1970s. And what you may not know is it was invented by this guy, Gary Dahl. And it was done in response to a need. There were lots of people who lived in apartments or rented accommodation who weren't allowed to keep pets. So he came up with this idea that you could keep a rock as a pet. There's generally nothing in your lease that says that you couldn't have a rock as a pet and he released it around Christmas time in 1975 and it only was around for about six months before the fad wore off but in that short time he became a millionaire. Uh, the rocks cost him only a few cents to buy. He uh, added a few more cents for packaging which was bought in bulk and he sold them for 3.95 each and he went on to as I said make a million dollars in six months so it can be done and you know this was done in the days before the internet when he had to go out and buy the rocks and package them up and ship them out to all the stores and this video series shows you how to take ideas and turn them into a viable business that's going to get you noticed in the marketplace and the rest is up to you. Information is what drives the web. More accurately the search for information is what drives the web. When you start surfing the internet, querying search engines and looking at various websites, you usually have a question. Think about it. When you go to a search engine like Google and type in a search term, you're actually asking the internet search engine a question. For instance, when you go and type in something like how to get rid of acne or acne cure or get rid of acne, you're actually asking the question, how do I get rid of acne, right? 
This is the usual application of search engine queries, and we do it all the time. The search engine results, called SERPs, answer that question by giving us a list of websites that have the information relevant to answering your query. And you can see for acne cures there's a whole lot here. And when you think about it like that, you quickly realize that the basic reason the internet thrives and grows is to answer questions put to it by hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. In the answers to questions are businesses, product sales, fortunes made, and the opportunity to answer and supply information about a topic. It could be anything, however, the process remains the same. In order to start an internet business, you must think this way, and as a result, your idea will be the answer to a question put forth by many. Most people go into business to make money. Having a clear picture of what product or service they're going to present via the internet is necessary in order to be successful. Having a business model plays a crucial role in achieving that goal. The type of environment in which a firm operates, as well as the type of changes that it faces, also play important roles. The internet stands to establish new game strategies for businesses. It renders existing bricks and mortar strategies obsolete while creating opportunities for wealth creation via the web. Taking advantage of all that the internet entails involves conceiving and executing a good internet business model. Such a model must not only have the right components but also the right linkages between them and its environment. It must also have the degree of resilience and flexibility to take advantage of change. In this video series, you'll find all of the factors and options that will allow you to go from internet business newbie to a level where you can conduct business effectively via the internet. Before we go any further, let me just give you a brief introduction to the history and terminology of the internet along with the key segments of the internet industry. You see, the terms internet, the web and the world wide web are often used interchangeably but they're not the same. Now, the Internet is a vast system of computers that are connected by high-speed communications lines and which can understand the IP stroke TCP protocols. The World Wide Web? Well, this is linked content that is accessible via the Internet. It's written in HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it's viewed through a browser, a browser like Microsoft Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome and so on. And it uses the HTTP which is for Hypertext Transfer Protocol which is the World Wide Web standard. In addition to the World Wide Web and HTTP there are four applications that operate on the Internet and these are email which stands for electronic mail there are discussion lists otherwise known as news groups there's FTP which stands for file transfer protocol that's how you can transfer files from your computer to a web server and finally there's remote login otherwise known as Telnet. Companies in the Internet infrastructure are found in one of 11 market categories or profit sites which are grouped into three segments. You've got users, suppliers and communication service providers. Users are divided into information servers, e-commerce companies, brokers and agents, service providers and market makers. Suppliers, well they are content creators, software suppliers and hardware suppliers and finally communication service providers, they're divided into backbone operators, ISPs and OSPs and last mile providers. Now that you know all of this, don't panic. You won't need to know a lot more than what each of these terminologies refers to, not how they work or how you can get them to work for you. You'll be dealing primarily in the browser interaction and FTP categories.
Now, these sound hard, but if you can program your digital recorder, you'll be able to work on the web quite easily. Even if you can't program your recorder, with a little study, you'll be able to get a website up and running pretty easily. Everything today has been streamlined with results being the priority and not programming acumen. Of all the business models presented, one of the most popular and considered the best business model is the information-based model. While we go over all four categories that sell via the internet, you'll notice that one of the best, fastest growing models involves the dissemination of information via audio, video and written media. A popular form is all digital, with no physical products to store, ship or keep track of. A digital product has an infinite shelf life, can be downloaded at the convenience of the buyer and never needs service. It's universal and easy to set up and maintain. All you need is a website, an idea and the ability to produce or hire somebody else to produce the product. Through affiliate marketing, creating the product is not even necessary. The only thing an affiliate needs is knowledge of internet marketing, which is both for sale and freely supplied all over the internet. Blogs are the new website of choice on the internet. It used to be you would set up a static website. Static websites display the same information for all users with no interaction or dynamic change happening on the page. The page is usually an HTML or text page that remains the same until the entire site is updated. Static sites are considered Web 1.0 and are difficult to manage when sites get large, and they're equally difficult to keep up to date. They are, however, cash friendly and are quick and easy to put together. Most people have moved on to dynamic blog pages which can be updated all day long. The index or site map for the site updates automatically as information is added to the site and with some blog platforms like WordPress and Blogger it also notifies search engines and the many web 2.0 sites that something has changed. Because of this Blog platforms have become the ideal and most popular format for websites to be built on.